Okay, you're my bad. I'm super excited to be here, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be the first video that's going to be officially under, you know what I'm saying, the new series and the playlist that we've created called Spoiler Alert. And the series is pretty much about me, you know what I'm saying, reacting to albums before they're officially released, you know what I'm saying? This is the only channel where you'll be able to listen to rappers' new albums before it's officially released, you know what I'm saying? And before on the video, you know what I'm saying, I gave y'all all the hints that is needed to who it was going to be. And most of y'all, you know what I'm saying, when I was reading the comments, had got it right. And so here I am to react to Sick K's new album uh, um, that's going to be coming out on June 11th, 6 p.m. Korean time. And the album is called Headliner, you know what I'm saying? This is the second album that he's released. And previously he released the album called Flip last year on February. And many of y'all might not know this, but um, me and Ty was supposed to fly to Vancouver, you know what I'm saying? To do an interview with Sick K, you know what I'm saying? Before he was, uh, before he performed and did his concerts and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But due to, you know what I'm saying? Due to difficulties and all, like, you know, Ty's, one of Ty's family members got really sick and stuff, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't, you know what I'm saying, make that happen. But anyway, man, as y'all know, I'm a big fan of Sick K. I've been following his work for a long time as well, you know what I'm saying? And this album consists of 10 different tracks, you know what I'm saying, featuring a lot of notable artists and pretty much is presenting, you know what I'm saying, just his, his honest feelings, you know what I'm saying, that is pertaining to his past experiences and whatnot. But before we get into, you know what I'm saying, the actual reaction of this album, you know what I'm saying, I want to play you guys this little mini film type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, that has been released and it is um, pertaining to the song Tell Ya and Darling, you know what I'm saying. So just to get us a little bit more into the mood, you know what I'm saying, you ready, you ready to watch it? All right. So without any further ado, y'all ready? <laughs> I'm super excited because I don't think anyone has listened to this album because it's not obviously officially released yet. Apart from obviously outside the higher music conglomerate, but here we are. We got the subtitles, we got everything. Y'all ready? Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. As, as y'all would know, um, the first song, Darling featuring Crush, I mean, we've seen from Sick K, he has featured Crush in a lot of his songs, and we know what bangers they make together, you know what I'm saying? But this is going to be the title track, you know what I'm saying, of this album, and thus, you know what I'm saying, we're only going to show you a little bit of the snippet, just the melody, you know what I'm saying, no real lyrics and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying, just, 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 just feel it out, you know what I'm saying, just, just listen to it. Uh, hey, hey. We are, we are going to be talking about all this, you know what I'm saying? But first, before I pause too much, I want to, you know what I'm saying, just listen to it, you know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, you know what I'm saying? Just consecutively, just give you guys a little bit of the taste, you know what I'm saying? Or like the, just how, what the album, you know what I'm saying? The direction the album's going, so. Anyway. Hey, 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 
to We are halfway, you know what I'm saying? I already showed you guys a taste of the first five tracks And I'm super excited because first it was called Darling, you know what I'm saying? We just showed you guys the melody, but that melody was crazy. It was almost like a very heavy, it was it was very heavy, but like those lovely high tones in there as well. So I feel like it's gonna be one of those like kind of like um melodically, sonically, it's gonna be like a very happy vibe. But if you read the lyrics and what it is gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be pretty sad, you know what I'm saying? And then the second song it goes to new love, you know what I'm saying? And then the third it goes to she's gone. Like I feel like there is a linear progression to his experiences over here. Maybe it's a romantic relationship, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And he's showing like those, what he's feeling, you know what I'm saying? The progression of his feelings, you know what I'm saying? So first as Darling talks about her hair and all that stuff and there's new love, he's, he's happy, whatever. And then she's gone. And then he's talking about too picky, you know what I'm saying? So there is a progression here. So this is an album I feel like we gotta listen to front to back, you know what I'm saying? And I just love CK as as an artist, like his evolution as an artist, you know what I'm saying, the experimentation, there is a lane that he really, he went on and he really made it his own, you know what I'm saying, from his raspy vocals, you know what I'm saying, for almost like that production that is on your face, you know what I'm saying, it's almost like, not overproduction, but it's like that production that's just like, it kind of surrounds you in all four corners, you know what I'm saying, but enough talking, let's, let's keep listening, you know what I'm saying, 1245. Yeah, so he said he didn't want to drink, so he drove out, ended up drinking already. So he had to call a DD, a designated driver, and he's looking like a monkey's butt because, you know what I'm saying, he's wrecked from all the drinking. I, I love this. Nirvana, this has a very rock and few sound as well. Before, we saw like a very pop tinge sound as well to his, you know what I'm saying? And like we talked about CK, I love his very experimentation, but it's not just experimenting, it's like... His evolution and his experimentation has really made him into the artist that he is right now, you know what I'm saying? Like he's really polished it, you know what I'm saying? Like from his very, how should I say, his very nasally timber to like a very throaty vocals, you know what I'm saying? With his production and then his very refined vocals as well in there, you know what I'm saying? And then like there is a sound that is very just sick K, hey, you know what I'm saying? When you listen to it, it's like that, it has to be this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Uh. I know from 1 to 8 was like really short snippets, but on the 8 and the ninth, we're gonna show you guys, you know what I'm saying, a lot more of the songs, obviously. And like I said before about his throaty vocals, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about right here on this song. Hey, hey. Uh. Hey. 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 Uh. Hey. Mm. Yeah. 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 Wow. 
this gives me a very, um, I forgot the album where he had the song Rendezvous in it, you know what I'm saying? That, this song gives me that, 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 that back in the time type of, um, shit he was doing melodically, you know what I'm saying? With the, like, the high tone vocals and doubling that's going on in the back and shit like that. Like, that reminds me of, like, that album specifically for some reason, but anyway. When you were all alone, yeah, I'll be there for you. When you were all alone, yeah, I'll be there for you. I love like that very underground submarine subdued type of sound, you know what I'm saying? It's not really punching through, you know what I'm saying? But it's blocking. Maybe that is a metaphor for his, his feelings, you know what I'm saying? There is shit that he wants to say, but he's not able to, and he's just trying to convey that sonically. Who knows, you know what I'm saying? But this called IBTFU featuring PH1. We're gonna be talking about this album a lot more after we listen to it, but anyway, let's go. Mmm, that flow coupled with that instrumentation is like it's just like flowing like a waterfall, you know what I'm saying, man? This electronic infused sound is crazy, like it fits so well with both of them going in together, like Wash me away, that's impossible. Oh god, tell she doesn't forget it. Did I touch a cold cannon? I believe this has been released though, you know what I'm saying? It's the first release um single that has been released from his album so far, if I'm not wrong, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Alright. We're gonna be talking let's talk about this album, you know what I'm saying? So the first song is called Darling, you know what I'm saying? Featuring Crush. And then it was called New Love, you know what I'm saying, like we talked about. Third was called She's Gone, you know what I'm saying. So we see the progression of his relationship, you know what I'm saying. Darling, he's in that honeymoon phase, you know what I'm saying. And then it's like he found a new love, and then now they broke up, you know what I'm saying. Something happened, she's gone. And the, and the fourth song is called Agi, and it's called uh, um, featuring Moon. And um, in Korean, it means where, you know what I'm saying. Like, she's gone, but he, 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 do, he doesn't really like grasp like why she's gone, you know what I'm saying, or where she's gone. And then the fifth 
which the halfway through the track is called Too Picky, you know what I'm saying? So he, like, he's in like this delirium, like he, he's confused, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, he, he almost like, you know what I'm saying, talks to her or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then he's like, I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? She's too picky. And then he goes back into his somber, like sad state where it's 1245 and he's thinking about like all the memories they had and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And then it's Nirvana and then like, and then it's Bay. like, when you read the lyrics of this, you know what I'm saying? Just, just in a linear progression, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's got like that perfect, how should I say it? It's like that perfect example of like what you feel like once you break up, you know what I'm saying? Because like once you find new love and you know what I'm saying, you're, you got your darling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're all happy and she's gone, you're confused, you're hitting her up, you know what I'm saying? And then you're trying to like drown that with um, alcohol and he says, you know, she got shit face and he looks like a monkey's butt or something, you know what I'm saying? Because he got red and then he's trying to like deal with that, you know what I'm saying? And this is an album that clearly and very realistically shows that, you know what I'm saying? And we talked about his production. We talk about his experimentation as an artist. We talked about his evolution as an artist. We talk about the evolution of his sound as an artist and the lane he just took. No one gave it to him. He worked hard, you know what I'm saying? He made the sound his own sound, you know what I'm saying? And he refined it. And we talked about the different type of vocals he does, you know what I'm saying, as well. And we talked about how just the sonics he used and the production of it, how it relates so well into the like the lyrical substance of what he's trying to talk about in that song as well, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Man. Super dope, sick K man. Um, I, you best believe I, you best believe I'm gonna be the first person to cop the album once it comes out. You know what I'm saying? June 11th, 6 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Korean time. Go cop the album. I hope you guys, you know what I'm saying, enjoyed the first video off of this series. You know what I'm saying? Just giving you guys a little taste about, you know what I'm saying, of the album. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be dropping. Shouts out to higher music. Shouts out to all the featurings with Crush, PH1, Moon, and all the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Sick K most of all. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he worked hard on this as well. But anyway, man, this is it for today. Keep liking, subscribing, and all that shit, man. And all you artists out there, you know what I'm saying? If you want something like this, just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, we.